Welcome everybody uh, back to the 2020 Victoria Tea Festival Revival. Um, we're joined today uh, uh, with Mimi Chu. Um, Hi. <laughs> Hi. If, uh, she's in Yunnan right now, but normally uh, she's uh, located in Guizhou. Is it Guizhou? Guizhou. 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 Okay, I need to. And then you're yes. involved in organizing the tea festival there as well. Is that correct? And then you have your own company. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And and yes. And then uh, we were gonna. Uh, we also have Pedro um, Villalon on the line. Uh, thank you, Pedro, for introducing Mimi to us. That was uh, really really lovely. And we have uh, we have Ryan Moen, um, who's the co-director of the tea festival with myself. Um, my name is Jared Nyberg. We're uh, we're actually on our what is this? Our our seventh our seventh speaker today. Our sixth speaker. I can't count. I don't think we started at twelve. We're going until twelve tomorrow. Uh, 24 hours of tea festival amazingness. <laughs> um, Mimi, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank um, you very much for <laughs> inviting me to the festival. And I'm so glad because I, I am in China right now. Um, thank you, Pedro, for giving me a chance to spit a little bit <laughs> about tea in China. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank, uh, you, <laughs> you want to talk to us, uh, tell us a little bit about, um, maybe tell us about uh, what your, um, what your, uh, okay. where, what, what your history, like what, what are you in the tea industry? Okay. Who, who are you in the, <laughs> okay. yeah, talk about who is Mimi. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> um, I originally born in Hong Kong and educated in Canada. Um, I'm passionate tea lover. That's why I'm stationed in China right now for two, three years um, and start learning about tea, um, getting in touch <laughs> with the tea plantations, getting in touch with the owners and helping the government to run some programs with the plantations. Okay. So um, I was invited by Guizhou government and then um, come over to get some programs, um, running some um, cultural programs with them and promoted in overseas, like in Vancouver, like in the Quebec, okay. like those of that kind of like programs for that. Um, we have the team for the for the Chinese calligraphy um, performance. Um, sometimes they will have the tea ceremony performance, and sometimes we'll have the Chinese um, music traditional performance for that. So. Um, the tea room field six I just set up for like a couple months and we we merge with hotels as always. Um, in Guizhou we have several hotels with the tea room field six and right now in Yunnan we have two hotels right now attached with the tea room field six and promoting all the teas they have. Um, also we have the tea rare as well, the silver tea rare in Yunnan. Okay. So um, I'm promoting with them. Wow. For that. You're quite busy. And that's me. <laughs> it's quite busy and yeah. <laughs> it is very interesting work and it's fun actually. Amazing. Fun. Yeah. No, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, we're gonna Pedro and and Ryan and I. I I'm sure we might. Uh, I hope we'll have questions for you as we go along, but. But your 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 All right. your talk um, that you wanted to do, and unfortunately we were going to drink some tea with you, but uh, I know that it was sent out uh, last month, and, and it just you know the border is yeah, kind of uh, problematic yeah. and challenging. So we, we don't un we don't have the tea to drink with you. So you'll have to explain to us, I guess, a little bit about what you're tasting. Maybe there's some selections we could drink along with you that we have here, but it's not going to be quite the same thing. Um, do you want to? Okay. So, but your talk is on zinc and selenium content. In great yes, right. Be tea? Because what I what I found is amazing is in Guizhou, Fenggang County, um, it just the only place that have the zinc and selenium soil. Well, with with that min mineral elements in that soil, and that is the only place to have produce the tea with that. You see the tea here. Okay. Well, it is very similar with the Huangshan Maofeng. But what I found that here is more neat because when they pick, they pick up the the youngest um, leaf and the bud. Yeah. And okay. it does have the silver. It does have the silver um, hair along attached with the, the leaves. And when it grew it, 
we, we normally will have the four grams to five grams uh-huh. and using like um, 85 degrees Celsius hot water. Okay. Four to five grams and then um, have the two, 200 ml for that. Let's see. Normally five seconds, and then we'll pour out the tea, pour out the infusion. Okay. We've lost your camera okay. there, so we're not really being able. We can hear you still, but we can't quite see you, Mimi. Um, I don't know. Okay. If, I don't know if there's any way to. You see. Maybe your screen. Went you see the, the infusion. The infusion is more green. We we, we can't quite. And fresh. Can you guys it's see the her? Twitch. Can you? Oh, yeah, we can see her. You can see her. Okay, awesome. Okay, great. Thank you. So the infusion is more green and bright, clear. Okay. Can yeah. you see that? I'm trying to, trying to make it visible. Um, I'm just gonna try and and make it so that the there seems to be an issue with the upload. Sorry, Mimi. We we can hear you, but we can't see you. Oh. Uh, but it's kind of frozen. But the camera is on. Okay. Can you? Perhaps we can go to one camera. It's just Mimi. That's what I, yeah. Oh, it switched to you. Okay. I'm gonna, right now? I got, I'm going to try. You want to try uh, putting it back on, Mimi? I am on right now. Okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. We can see you. That's great. Okay. 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 You see the infusion? Okay. It's more bright and... Yeah, okay. Green, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fresh. It's pretty good. And smell, when you smell the aroma, it's a, lit, um, a lot of like all good, huh. fresh. Okay. What, what, what tea are you making right now? What kind of tea? Um, I'm making the um, Feng Gang Mao Feng. Feng Gang Mao Feng. That's the Mao Feng. It's good green tea. Okay. Okay, lovely. And then it's basically. Well, that is the tea. That is the tree I'm trying to send it to Pedro a month ago, but. Um, mm. I think it's because of the COVID. We'll drink 19. it soon, Jared. Son. Yeah. It's yeah. Maybe a week <laughs> if we can get it out of customs and all that stuff. I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it, Pedro. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So the, this tea is very famous. Um, the the Marvel. Okay. When it grill after after it grill. Yeah. The, the leaf is very green, it's bright green. So I show you. I show you. It's <laughs> interesting. I wish I could be drinking it with you. I'm, I'm excited so, to try it. <laughs> it is so neat. You know, it is so neat, and the, the fragrance is kind of like a shocking and, and fresh. Can you, can yeah, you see? Yeah, we can the, see the green. It's pretty, pretty vibrant. I'm that, afraid to make the camera bigger. Bright, bright green you now. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. Um, Wow, it's it's amazing. Cool. Yeah. Um, the, now, so the, go ahead. Sorry. The taste is like um, very similar with the Huangshan Mao but the elements inside the tea with the zinc and selenium mm-hmm. that will have the anti, you know anti um, oxidant, anti aging. Well, they they prevent the cancer. They improve the the immune system. The regularly drinking that is pretty good for the body. What what is it? so zinc and selenium are 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 contributing to these things you're saying? Well, that is that is the mineral um in the in the soil when they grow the tea leaves yeah. they they grow the tea that is con like contained to the contribute to the tea leaves. Okay, and that that helps to pull out of these uh, characteristics or these components that. Um, that kind of like bring out antioxidants and help with your system? Yes, right. Okay. Correct. Okay, cool. That is what I find is amazing in this, in this county. They, okay. they do have the only thing with the zinc and selenium and organic trinity in China. Interesting. And, okay. that, is, and that is the new star in, in Guizhou, Hongdang, and mm-hmm. selling a lot to the Europe right now. How, how, how long has this region been producing tea? Well, actually, it's a long time, like, um, because that is one of the origin with the tea trees in China. It's, 
it's like 15,000 years ago that will happen. But because there's no one to promote that, yeah. and the, the good tea is just only serving to the locals. That's why they, they were not knowing in the, in the world, in, right. in other countries. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay. Because I've, I mean, um, I'm always interested in unique regions, and I, I've, I'm not a Chinese tea um, specialist by any any means. Um, I'm super fascinated by the process. Pedro has way more knowledge than I do when it comes to these teas. Um, yes. Uh, Pedro, have you ever come across uh, selenium and zinc as uh, contributors to um, to flavor or to, uh, antioxidant extraction? This is kind of an interesting concept that I haven't really uh, uh, heard much about. You're also quite the scientist. Yeah, you know, I, I first heard about this from Mimi. Like, uh, Mimi, Mimi, and, and Simon and I have been drinking tea for the past what, like, three, four years. Okay. And, and uh, we've, we've shared some very interesting tea from uh, from Guizhou. So, as, as Mimi was saying, it's a fairly unknown region. It is in, in and correct me if I'm wrong, Mimi, but it's it's at the, the other end of the Tibetan plateau. So, it's very rich, very fertile island soils, and uh, I've had some very good tea here. I've never ever commercialized it until now, uh -huh. when I got a small amount from Mimi, but I've, I've been enjoying it for the past few years. Okay. And I feel very anti-oxidized. <laughs> awesome. So you've been enjoying well, such and... oh, Sorry, keep going. Well, actually, this is this is my first time to hear, learn about the thing and selenium green tea in Fonggang. Oh, then that is my very first time to to be there. It's like only like four hundred thousand populations over there in that county, and they handpick every single like young suit, like young um, leaf and the, the young bud uh -huh. by hand, handmade it, and they they pan fry it, and this is a maze. Mm. Okay, me. Maybe, is this the same yes. thing? So. Last last year, when you came over for the festival, you brought mm -hmm. some tea that was labeled zinc selenium in a in a green box, and that's the one that I have had an experience with. Is it yeah, the same that, county or? Well, that one is my friend in in Guizhou. That's in other counties called Meitan. Then okay. they have the 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 bird seed, the small one, very small one. And then we bring a little bit and try the market. And I found that people will like that green tea very much. And that's why I come over to the Fonga and learn about that because I intended to learn every day for the for the tea. Mm -hmm. So nice. um and I'm so glad that I tell tell Pedro about that and we'll learn about that together. Mm. So the response was really good at the tea festival in Vancouver. Yes, I bet so because one of my um, the the custom the customer were calling me for that mm -hmm. and asking about uh, asking about the green tea, but yeah. at that time I'm not very into it and I didn't respond it very well. I guess yeah. Yeah. no no more <laughs> no more no more answer from that <laughs> customer anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's all <sounds> good. <laughs> but. Um, so this this research on zinc and selenium is this like um, is this uh, like scientific research or is this uh, well where do we find that this that is not well that is not my research but yeah. it's just accidentally mm -hmm. I come over and learn about that okay <clears throat> interesting yeah um, so the what is the the fengang tea? What are what are we when we say fengang tea? What are we talking about? Like, is this a style? Is this a is this a way of making tea? Okay, fengang is the county. That's the name of that county. So, um, with fengang, that only have the same and selenium green tea in that area. So that's why people always call them like fengang green tea. Uh -huh. When when you hear the phone gun green tea, mm -hmm. it means that is zinc and selenium in it. Uh, it's, it's from a particular region and it has those components in it. Correct. Is there something special Correct. about fengan green tea that's different from from other areas? Is it the zinc and selenium, or is there a is there a process difference? That's, that's well, that is not 
it doesn't it isn't link with the process. It just only they have the soil in that area with the zinc and selenium mineral mm -hmm. in the soil when they growing the tea tea trees will have it just contributed in into the tea leaves. Right. So that is the very natural thing in them. Right. Okay. Uh, very may I ask a crazy question? What what happens if you eat carrots or cabbage from from the same county? Are they also loaded with zinc selenium? If you have cabbage or Correct. vegetables or onions or or carrots or so so what happens well, to other vegetables from the same county? That will be the same <clears throat> thing. They will have the zinc and selenium in it, mm. but maybe maybe the t growing the tea leaves is much more absorbing the the mineral. A better way, but mm. in vegetable maybe it does, but it's not that maximized for those. Got it. No. Yeah. Okay. Fascinating. Interesting. Very interesting. And that is the country to to produce a lot of vegetable with the with the organic products. Okay. Okay. Fascinating. Do you find that it um, improves the flavor in any way? What kind of impacts would it have on how you how you, how it tastes? Well, what what normally we just drink it by the by the tea glass, mm -hmm. the the glass like this, yeah. glass like this. Oh, very cool. Put okay. it, we have the the green tea and brew it like this way. Um, the taste. Well, what I found the the mouthful, the taste between the Wangshan mouthful and Gonggang mouthful. Well, it is so similar and. The taste were more organ. This is what I found. This, the fragrance is a little different. Some people will think that is the organ. Some people will will think that is the bamboo suit. Okay. This, the taste, the smelling for that. So it changes the way that and you taste. Interesting. Okay. I guess I mean every region has its own unique flavor, right? I'm. I, I'd be interested yeah, in. But, in but I found that the taste for that, um, when you drink it, the aftertaste is more sweet. Okay. It's like more sweet than other regions or just is there? Yeah, this is what I found. Interesting. Um, is it uh, due to some sort of, like, do they pan fire it a little bit deeper? Do they go a little bit longer with their firing technique? Are they using really unique um, tea cultivars or is there something that makes it that, that, that that makes that change. Well, they okay. Mostly they pan fry it like um four hours. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, using t um two hundred degrees Celsius. Okay. You're using the hand, pan fry it like this. Is this normally this is this is what I what, what I learned from them with uh -huh. the two hundred degrees Celsius and using the hand, the palm, and then pan frying like this. Interesting. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Um, it's not burning hands, but yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 200 degrees Celsius, and uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Pan firing techniques that. always, always uh, <laughs> sound intense to me, especially when you're you're rolling them with your hands, etc. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, what what else can you tell us about uh, zinc and selenium content in Guizhou, and uh, just this tea in, in general? Is there any uh, like when we're making it? Should we make it in a special way, or is there like you're making it for us right now. Is is this a kind of a more standard style that we should we should? Okay, what I what I found um the people the people over there, mm -hmm. no matter they're using the the zinc and selenium um for the tea ceremony and the usual practice, sometimes they use it like a soup. Um, they using the oil and then pan fry the the green tea and add the water, add the peanut and then make it salty. Like the tea, like the soup, and one of the dishes for that. Peanuts that and and, and uh, with, is is it like a stock with with peanuts and and a bit of salt then? Yes, right. Oh, and yes, the floating right. leaves, you you eat the leaves as you're drinking the soup. Yes, right. Correct. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, that is yeah cool. they they just pan fry they just pan fry using the oil yeah. and pan fry the leaves, and then add water, add the peanut, add the salt. And then stir it, and then drink. That's super cool. That is. That's really yeah. interesting. That's really. Would you be able to get a video that of that? That's very interesting. That would be amazing. 
I think uh, we would appreciate both that Jack and Sal can know five to drink some Guayjo style peanut soup when when the yeah. Day. Yeah. Can you make yes, us right. like yes, uh, right. do you have the ability to do it right now or or can you uh, can you maybe send us a video later that we could see? of the well, we'll, we'll send you the video later <laughs> that'd be awesome yeah. i would really love to see that that would be really interesting cool well i never think of that as one of the dish never yeah with the soup you know. really i guess pretty cool well the taste, how, how, taste different they drinking it? bro the people over there is drinking every day this is one of their their usual dish so um it's like a meal maybe it's much more healthy it's like a It'd meal. be super yeah. cool to get a few recipes because if I understand it correctly, so I, I know there's been the growing in Guizhou for you know a couple of thousand or more than a, a few thousand years, but I would believe that this style of, of cultivars, Mao Feng, were introduced much more recently. So it seems that it's a it, it's a modern style uh, feed farm introduced in a yeah. place that has had a much longer tea tradition. What I would find fascinating wow. is learning more about the older styles of consuming tea in Guizhou. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can probably try to recreate some of that over here in Canada. And I think it would be fascinating if yeah, we can just learn cool. from some of the grand past and then yes. grand Yeah. Yes, I will agree with you. It'd be cool. We should, we should invent something else newly. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> category of the foam gun green tea with the thing and selenium yeah. and then boom well that, that would be the new star for that right I with noodles or i don't know i i, I would I, I think it's probably if you can please ask some of the old ladies in in the village you know mm -hmm. what what kind of recipes they suggest with the tea leaves and and how they drink it at home i think that'll be fascinating yeah, that'd be really Yeah, cool. I will I will find out and make a little research on that. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, that would be really That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm cuz mostly what we do cuz mostly what we do is um we we build the platform like the tea room V06 and then we we'll collect all the teas from the tea farmers and then we will promote it with them and then We'll invite some customers, invite the friends, come over and try different kind of tea. But actually, I'm collecting around the world. Actually, um, people will come over and taste whatever they like, and we we do the research how to match up with the food and the and the desserts as well. Mm. Nice. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that makes. It's so interesting yeah. how, how tea interacts with other foods. I think I find that whole peanut thing really fascinating. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> yeah, right. right. <laughs> That's really interesting. It is different. Yeah. So um, do you know what kind of um, tea plants they're growing? Are they growing it from seed? Or are they growing like clonals? Or uh, w what is, is there something unique? That... Most of the, most of the category of the tea, tea tree is the, um, is the xiaoye, xiaoye fudi. Okay. This one, um, and then mostly they they just um, plant it ar along the mountain. Hmm. It, it is not flat. You need to go up to the mountain and then have to um, tea picking. Are there and any native tea. ones? Because Xiao Ye Fuding would come from Fujian, but are are there any native Weizhou cultivars? Mm. No. Not really in this moment. That what I heard, I learned here. Yeah, yeah. You know, but I, I will have I, I will make the research and then um, give more information rather than the um, footing shall yeah we'll see and other what categories else? that yeah yeah we'll, I, I think it'd be really interesting to to contrast the footing shall yeah versus uh, versus whatever was growing there a thousand years mm -hmm. ago just, just to see yeah yeah thanks <laughs> yeah that'd be really cool. <laughs> That would be really cool. That would be really cool. So, um, what, so have you finished making the tea in front of you there, or, or there was, um, there was a, I think you were going well, through. Well, I have another. I have another one. Is the black tea? Okay. We call it chao fan ji. Chao fan. Okay. Chao fan ji. Oh, interesting. That's the black tea. Okay. Um, that's the eighty percent, eighty percent fermented. Okay. Maybe. So that's a, like yeah. a lighter oxidation. I can't quite see from the, or is it pretty dark? 
Awesome. We're gonna. Okay. The leaves is a little bigger. Uh huh. And that is not the that is not the one leaf one bud. They okay. they they picking the bigger tea leaves. Interesting. Okay, so so for those who are just tuning in now, um, we're actually talking to Mimi Chi. <laughs> She's live from Guizhou. Guizhou. Correct me if I'm wrong. China. No, actually, no. It's Yunnan. I You're in Yunnan right now, right? Is that correct? I am in Yunnan right yeah. now. You're in Yunnan right <laughs> now. But we're we're talking about um, tea so we're from talking about the Guizhou tea. Guizhou yeah. tea, and the Guizhou tea in specific. Uh, if we want to be specific, we're talking about Pengang village. Is this is a village? This is a micro region, I guess. And and we were just uh, hearing that a little bit about. That is the county. A county. That is the county called um, Fenggang. And then uh, it's it's a green tea uh, that she made us in the beginning just now. She's talking a little bit about the the work that went into making it. We have Pedro Villalon uh, who's who's watching with us, and we have uh, Ryan Moen. Pedro owns O5 Tea. Ryan Moen is co-director of the Tea Festival with myself, and we're really honored to have uh, this opportunity to watch Mimi make some tea and talk about uh, the effects of zinc and selenium content on tea in the region. Um, and right now she's about to make us a uh, a crimson tea, or I guess it would be called a black tea. And is this a true black tea? Black tea. Okay, so not a red tea. Well, in China, in China, it's called a hong cha. Yeah, hong cha. Okay, cool. Yeah. Amazing. That you see that it's more bright and yeah. okay. brilliant red. I would say brilliant red. Yeah, cool. It smells. It smells honey. It smells more honey. Okay. Yeah, and. And. The taste is sweet and mellow and very smooth and, and soft. This is what I thought. Well, it's amazing. Uh, black tea. How do you brew it? Are you brewing it with like really hot water? Well, and okay. A big dose? And gong fu style? 90, usually I use the 90 de uh, degrees Celsius and then we'll have the 4 grams uh -huh. in 115 ml. Where, where are you in Yunnan right now? Well, I am in Keqing. Keqing is another county is producing silver. Mm. With the 1,500 years history in that. The wow. people is cropping. It's so nice. This is what I'm having. Those are the silver. This is the nice. silver. Amazing. Very nice. Cool. Can you see? The color is so nice. Yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm I'm sending this one to Pedro as well, along with that um, tea shipment. Yeah, we're 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 you, very much. Pedro, you have this one as well. We'll drink yeah. it. Awesome. Yeah. Any recommendations? So those are the. Well, you know, this is the silver silver teapot. This is um, produced from here. Uh huh. It's using like. On um, 500 grams for that, the whole thing. Okay. And what I learned, well, I just learned it in this couple of days that um, using the silver teapot, um, boiling the water, the water from the hot water, and then to be the soft water. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then when the water and the water and tea meet together, <laughs> and it will brings up. Very nice, health, healthier style for brewing the tea. This is what I learned two days ago. <laughs> no, that's really interesting. I, I'm I, very interesting. I find it really fun uh, the effects that that different different materials of teapots have on the flavor. You know, and it's it's yeah. Part of me, I want to be like a I want to be like a scientist and and always brew in glass or like a ceramic that that is glazed so that I know it's you know I know it's the tea. And it's not, it's not the material that's changing the flavor. But then there's another part of me where I'm like, oh, but it's so interesting. I, I think it's so interesting to brew in silver or to brew in, in, a, in a particular ceramic that, that's going to change the flavor and make it better or softer or more interesting. So it's, they're both interesting, yeah. hey? Like it's, it's interesting to taste the tea yes. where it's like all made in glass and there's, no, there's very little reaction. But it's also so yeah. interesting to make it in... Um, something like what you have there, the silver is going to have an interesting effect on the flavor of the tea. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very, that, that's very yeah. amazing because when people are having those kind of artistic teapots, yeah. well, 
your heart is just like open and oh the tea is so great <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were talking about that. um yeah. yeah so um the other way that i'm going coming over to yunnan is um learning about the poor tea so um the poor tea i'm not very into it and i'm not that expert in it but i'm trying to get in touch with the um tea farmers and tea plantation and learn about how to make it, how to make the tea cakes by hand. So um, later on, we will share more information for that and <laughs> share with Pedro, share with Gerard, share with Brian for that. That's good. That's amazing here. Lovely. Um, yeah. what, what, what is your, what is your, like you, you said that, you know, you're learning this region of, of um, Guizhou. You're also learning mm -hmm. the pu'er cakes in, in Yunnan. What, it, what, what you, where have you spent most of your time? What is your, what is your main tea that you feel really like experienced with? What, or are you? Is it so, the main tea, the the main tea. What I'm learning is the black tea. Actually, is okay. the okay. So that's full fermented. Well, in in China, it's called Hong Cha. Right. And I am learning how to make it, how to pan fry it, roast it, or um, killing um, greens, those kind of stuff. I'm I'm learning for right. deep, deep, deep inside to learn it, and I wanted to make my style Hong Cha. Oh, interesting. Because they have, the, well, because they have the different aromas mm -hmm. and different smell when you're using the the wood to to pan fry it. Oh, fascinating! So that 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 is so amazed when you are using the the different maybe the wood the different wood different kind of wood. Well, I I was learning that um using um very special one. It it you get the smoky taste when you pan fry it. So I I have to take out the name for that because. I, I'm not exactly, um, I cannot say the exactly name for that, but I will dig it out. When when they're burning that wood and pan fry the, the tea leaves, mm -hmm. actually they will trans, transform to another taste for that. And the timing, you need to wrap the timing very, very neat. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the taste is not what you want. Right. It would become really like yeah. too strong smoke or too, too weak of a tea Correct. flavor or something like that. Huh, and I bet yeah. you the, the the wood will all burn at different temperatures too. So there'll be different temperature variations yeah. and how that impacts the tea. That's fascinating. So mm -hmm. that's that's kind of your that's your main area of study. So so why so you were explaining that the government has has asked you to reach out uh, to uh, and and ex explain different tea processes um, to well with the with the government what we work on is the program like um, the the cultures. Um, exchange, right? Like in in Hong Kong, um, I I have the association of about tea for the exchange. So we work on a lot of teenagers coming over to China and learn how to make tea. And in in Hong Kong, they just are uh, having the tea ceremony, uh, teaching them how to do the the tea ceremony properly. And okay. actually, we. We link up with the Brussels, um, the Belgium um, Chinese Culture Center. We will have the the lady to to presenting the the music over there. We will have all the exchanges program, and what we are um, trying to run is the um, tea culture um, comp competitions online, and this is what we are planning to do. And after that one. Once it's online and having a witness, um, we will invite them to the Guizhou Expo, Tea Expo for that. And then we'll have the training, um, have the tea blending, and how to make tea, and tea ceremony training as well. Well, that's very cool. So um, this cool. is what we are working on that. A full uh, tea, uh, tea culture immersion experience. That's, that's yes, very, very interesting. Yeah. And you're going to be on later today. You're going to be doing, um, uh, well, on our 24-hour well, session. We'll have yes, we have, um, we have two ladies for the tea ceremony matching with the um, Chinese instrument called Wu Zhen. Very so, cool. So um, that's the lady playing the music and have the tea ceremony as well. 
that's going to be very special. So yeah, we're really looking yeah. forward to to having you on for that for sure. Yeah, so these 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 cultural um, experiences. Cool. Um, Ryan, did you have any questions for for yeah. Mimi, or um, I feel like I'm I'm no, taking the floor. No, I think not even questions. I just I've been really enjoying the the whole thought about how the environment from the the wood that's smoked around the tea to the hands that touch it all the way to the teapot that holds it really journeys that flavor as opposed to thinking about tea as a plant mm -hmm. and it's 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 really even beyond the plant like the plant is in specific regions uh, has mineral properties i think that's probably the most interesting aspect of this talk is thinking about the environment that the plant the 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 farmers the producers and then the the purveyor the person who's even pouring the tea has as far as impact and tang uh, tasting and the quality of the tea. I think that has been beautiful. Mm. Yeah, for certain. Cool. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> so once once the border we open and welcome you guys to come over whatever Guizhou or Yunnan to visit tea room B06 and we have fun. And we try different kind of tea from Yunnan, from Guizhou, from everywhere in mm. China. That's perfect. Yeah, that'd be that's, really cool. That's would be amazing. We're, we're, we're really looking forward to that, I think, because um, I think that, that the coronavirus and COVID has, has really uh, made it challenging to, to visit other countries. But uh, we've been talking about in this show just how um, interesting it is that we get to have these kinds of conversations instead. And that this is kind of it's almost like a, a chance to explore things a little bit differently. And then when uh, when we perhaps when the virus slows down or we don't have to you know maybe there's a vaccine around the corner or something we'll be able to all travel again mm -hmm. a little bit um maybe we'll have to yeah i'll definitely it. come back to vancouver because my family in vancouver <laughs> well yeah you please come and visit victoria as well we're just yeah, a, we'll just, do, we'll just, do. just a boat ride across <laughs> the ocean there but uh yeah no it'd be really awesome maybe you can make it to the vancouver tea festival again uh when they have that yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, in 2020 definitely yeah that's awesome mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so, um, did you? We're kind of nearing um, the end of our time with you, Mimi. Uh, we uh, have you until uh, forty-five after. But maybe you had some words that you wanted to leave our viewers with. Did you want to say something um, at the end here to the people watching, and 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 maybe about Guizhou or about your your talk today? Yeah, just um, if you have any requests, just um, give me give um, send me an email or visit uh, my our website www.troomv06.com although it's building right now but you can leave me a message for that t room 306 okay awesome yeah, we yeah. have that we have that mentioned a little bit in the description underneath uh, your video on the uh the live feed so people can see it there but i'm just gonna um put it into the the chat as well okay fantastic um fantastic. ryan pedro uh anything you wanted to say at the end here to, to mimi Thank you. <laughs> it's been amazing. Yay. Thank you for making this happen. I know it's not easy when you're you're having to navigate different things, and we had to switch everything up. And you've been so patient with coming online and, and broadcasting. Well, I'm, live. I'm glad that the Wi-Fi is fine and the signal is pretty good. It's not losing anyone. <laughs> that so glad. Yeah. <laughs> for certain, for certain. Thanks, Mimi. Yeah. I look forward to so trying. So thank you very you much again. Yes, right. I will definitely will send out the recipe very soon. Please, 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 please. Uh, this should arrive then. anytime now, so I'll send some to Victoria and we'll have it with peanuts. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> peanuts and tea. Great. <laughs> yes, be, right. It's right. going to be amazing. But actually, that's the good match in, in China for that. Yeah. Love peanuts. Yeah, and that's... Yeah, peanuts, love tea. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Well, thank you again, Mimi, for coming on. Uh, we look forward to having um, the, the, the Chinese tea ceremony with music a little bit later in the broadcast. Yes. Um, appreciate your time today. Thank you very much for inviting me. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Take care. Thank Thanks, you. Pedro. Yeah, and, Ciao. Thanks. Bye. And thank you to Bye. Pedro. <laughs> thank you, Pedro. And, uh, My um, pleasure, man. All right, and we'll see you. Um, I believe we have you on uh, shortly. Um, are you on exactly. next? Exactly. Yes. Yeah, you're on next. So we're going to take a short break. It'll be about uh, 15 minutes, right. and we'll come back. And uh, Pedro's going to be doing his show. So I don't know if you can tune in from where you are um, in Yunnan, but uh, 
Uh, Mimi, we're going to be... Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely we're watching that. Uh, lovely. Thanks. Okay, awesome. Looking forward yeah. to, to having you watch it. Awesome. Okay. All right. All right. Take care. See you soon. Goodbye. I'll take care. Bye. Okay. And Ryan, do I still have you? Yeah, I'm just waiting. I always watch and wait until, it's, um, until the screen comes up on my, um, on my thing that says you're offline, which <laughs> it hasn't yet. Oh. I'm always hesitant. Yeah, no, he's he's gone. Yeah, I know we all we had that with George there, <laughs> where he was still on when we were saying goodbye. I think we're good. Yeah, we're 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 back to just you and I for now. Oh yeah, for sure. I thought we were, so yeah. Next up is Pedro with O5T talking about the different ways of expressing tea leaves. So if we just wait 15 minutes, uh, take a short break, and switch back to our other medium of um, television. Um, we're, we're using a bit of a chalkier version this time, but we'll come back clearer and better and ready for all your questions. <laughs> 